And hi, it's Diane. Welcome to my channel, Really Good Nails. Now, just pushing back the cuticles on these. These have been in a bit of the wars. I took uh, my last extension off. And they have birds. And so, I mean, cleaning the cages and catch me sides in the bars. So, that's coming off as well. I always seem to lose them when I decide I'm doing a new set. Because I wanted a slightly clear and I wanted to attempt the Russian almond. But I don't know whether it's the Russian one or the Gothic one, I don't know, but it's the shape I'd like. I set out to create and I created it. So, I'm just going to finish off on video. Now I've had six practices so with a bit of luck i can show you how i did him so a bit of dust down there as well nothing feels loose on there That's it. a bit more room on my itty bitty little nails The nail fold there of mine lifts up and end up getting dust and everything down. I've done you, what am I doing you again? Just wanted to get in the picture, didn't you? A little brush. A little bristle on it. Good for combing out your, your nail brushes and getting under the your nail fold, get rid of the dust. Right then, so that's that done, and I'll uh, put myself some sheets of tissue. So I've got a little tub for getting the dust off, and there, and I've got a little jar with that alcohol in it for me slip solution for my acro gel. Right, done that. So I've already hydrated, dehydrated I should say, and put primer on and I put a little um, thin layer of this on but I've just roughed it up so after leaving it for a while, so I've put on a new one. And there's a bit of skin hanging up there. Get that short now. There we go. That's it. So make sure it sticks lid back on and I'll do that for 30 so I've got my nail brushes it depends and I've got so many it depends on how warm this stuff is if it's cold it wants this brush if it's pliable it wants this brush if it's Moving about a lot, it wants this brush. And this brush is just useful for around the cuticles. And then, of course, there's the spatula as well. And the rest of my brush is on the drill bit um, carrier there. So it stops them rolling off the table. And it means I can find them. So, that's it. We're done there now. So I'll just take that sticky inhibition layer off because I am a magnet to dust and fluff so if it's going to be sticky sorry about that took the counterweight off the camera stand uh, got 
these pre-cut ones that from one of the stores on AliExpress and I'm getting on with them so you you do your bend do it a little bit tighter and I just stick the first so you know I'm going to do a an almond shape there basically so I can hold on to it get me little Okay, so pinch the end, give it a bit of a bit of squeeze there. Now, that obviously it's going to be too big, but if you lean it down, which is what you've got to do for your, your Russian almond, almond stilettos, so that you get a thin end, this end, so that you can cut it to diagonal from there to there on both sides and then it will fit so and a diagonal like that it off and make sure I'm going the right way diagonal there so that then that will now start to fit under there with a bit of a pinch. Now I've got a nail that my finger goes that way but I want the form to go that way so it's in line there so it'll make my finger look straight like that one sort of when you put them together except that one I got wrong. Don't take no notice of that. Practice hand. Right, so that side fits nice, but that side's a bit shorter, so it does fit okay. But what I'll do is I'll just take a bit of that side out. So then I'm not going to have a gap. See, like that. There we go. And then keep it going up so these tabs don't want to fix them just yet. Then we're going up in the air, gently pat them together. And we can do the pinching when we got the product on. And there we go, one form fitted. And get one form, like I said, one form fitted. Make sure it's all nice and snug and still straight, not with the finger. I should be going like that, but like that, so that that's going that way. That is going that way. So when you do that, they're all together, especially with an extreme shape like this one. That you want it looking nice at the top and at the sides. So now, take the sticky top off. Put that over there, out of the way. That is aqua gel. So, and it looks as though it might be behaving. So, all the nail prep's done. Now we've just got to create the nail that we want. So, good dollop. Technical term. A very good dollop. So, Pull and then wiggle the, the tail up a bit. You keep it down that way, then you sort of get a roundish bead and slowly moving on there. And I've only got Diddy Little, so this bead looks enormous, but it won't all go on the nail bed. Okay, now I've got tissue, a couple of tissues, and I've also got the backing, the porous side 
off my nail form. Little pot of alcohol. Now, I'll wipe my brush up on the tissue. Well, oh, that's just sitting there, thinking it's a bit warm. And then I put it on there so I can see how much moisture I've got left. So hopefully it'll like this one. Pat it to the cuticle, very thin. Using the bristles just to push it in. You don't want to ridge so that it keeps it looking nice until you're ready for an infill or oh, change. Right, my brush has gone a bit dry, so take the more off and put it on there, and it gives you nice bristles all pointing the same way with a bit of look. Okay, down my side walls, both sides, right, now, I want to bring you back a bit, so pat, 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 push it into my nail, so it makes contact and covers it, then pat and pull, a straight line, same that side, Pat, pat, get it to go towards the fingernail, free edge, that's it. So that stress point has now been corrected. So I'm going to number three. Sorry, I'm going to have focus there. Number three. Bring it round a little bit more, thank you. To number three, there. Oh, fluff, 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 fluff. Just get me pinching tool in a minute. Where's it gone? Just a bit, just here. Uh, oh well, so it's part of the design. I can't see where it's gone. I see a bit on the, the tab, anyway. Now my dripping is dry. On the paper, you can see it's not, when it comes to that's too wet, that's just about right for this gel anyway. So pat it down to where it's straight with the side wall. Pat the top to the next bar along, which is number four. Okay. Make sure it's straight on this side as well from the side wall. This is only layer number one, so it doesn't have to be really thick. Okay. Be straight. It looks round at the moment, but when we pinch, it'll go. Later. So then, forty-five degrees from number three to number four. So I like these ones because they're designed for almonds and stilettos. Now then, I don't know whether you can see it's dead hard to do it this way around. But pat pat to number three, then from number three up. to number four and that we shall leave like that come out the way pinching tool you can come out in a minute and then I've got oops, a little handheld lamp because me normal LED this will be for a minute my normal LED has got such a lot of space that I don't find the sides of this almond get caught in there. So I use my little handheld one so that it can start it off. So 
Okay, so that's what about 30 seconds. Just give it a little tap. So you can just hear it it's set slightly. So you pinch in tool and put it in a little bit of alcohol, just let it run down a bit. Snap, snap, snap. And then it tends not to stick. Give it a pinch. Only gentle, don't do it too hard as it'll come away from the form. Just to get it started. Okay. And use clear clips as it's gel and it's got secure in the LED or UV. Put it under your finger. Now make sure that it's still in line with the form. Okay. There we go. Right, you can sit in there now for a minute. Okay, you're done. So I'll leave that now. It's definitely set. Gone a bit too thick on that side, but never mind. We can sort that out by not putting so much on. Oops, get off there. You're twitching to my brush. Oh, dual end. So don't put so much this side, put it this side this time, then it balance it out and we can correct it more with not quite so much because we've done the length already in the depth. So let the string go downwards and bring it to the nail. So spin it round a bit. That's it, so it lands. I want it more this side this time to balance out the structure. So get my brush wet again all the way through. That's it. Now I need a bit more from the apex here, but it's going to be there. So push it back a bit. And it just thins it out a bit because I don't want a massive apex. I haven't got a two inch long nail. Plus, I don't want it too big and bulky because I want to put nice art all over it. I haven't decided what yet, but as they say, that's another video, isn't it? So the side walls try not to be too thick saves on the filing a bit later right I think that's a bit too wet just do me that's set better right you can see it's wandering now because what was in there was warm when it's come out so it's taking the Warmed up the gel, but it's still behaving. So, to take that down to number four, okay, push it so it goes up a bit, and then bring it down. Make sure you've still got your forty five degree there and because this side was already pretty thick so pat it down down to three or whatever number you choose but down to me three right I'm sticking swipe it off that's it tap it and a little push Right, we're at, can we have to be a contortionist? Right, down to number three, pat it down so you get a straight side. This is why I said don't put too much down there because some of it will run down there. And you don't want to flood your cuticle area. So, down to number three, pat, pat, and then make sure your angle goes from there, let me brush it. 
the diagonal down to number three and that goes in a straight line to your side one. Okay. Lost my moisture again. That's it. So you can see on there how much you've put and taken off. Now you want to push so that this becomes square. Not too hard, as you'll just push it too far up like that bit there. Okay, and just tap it to come back a bit. And this side, push it. Save on the filing. Let me push again. Wipe off the excess. Push it. Now this is going to need a good push in with the... It's quite thick so I'll be able to get the thinner with me filing as well. Right, now, what I want to do, because it's got too much there. Okay, you see how it bulges out. I brought it up there a bit. I don't want it to bulge a bit there neither, but I want to bring it up so you've got a nice good, so much, I could never work with acrylic, I'm too fussy, and acrylic, to me seems that you put it down and then that's it, where it lands, is where it stays, that is going very bulgy but Fetch some up there. Get away from that side wall. It's still using a smaller acrylic brush. Right, we sort of want the rounded ridge at the top and the flat sides. So I think I should stop fiddling now and get it cured. And keep the angle. Nice little round almond tip there. Okay. I think that'll be done. Just got a bit there that's run away with me. Just use the end and just push it away and the heel of my brush just to push it away and there's a bit in there as well that's it right now the most of it's done so I can put it in for 60 seconds in there now in fact I've changed my mind it's coming up to 30 seconds so I'm just going to tap it no, it's still tacky under there, isn't it? <laughs> no, that's why I use my Glandel one, because I can't get the sides and my big two-hand. I'm just creating a mess there. So, oops, so I'll put it in for a little bit longer. Okay, take it out. Let's just have a, a little tap. It feels so sticky now. That's better. So, get me. Uh, oh, come here. Oh, I think it's a drip just a tad down there. That will prise that off. And the orange would stick. Prise that off. Undo. Catch that off. Oop. That's it. Just Get off. Must like me. Get off. Very sticky. Right. Now I want to do a very quick wipe so I don't cool it too much. But I want the sticky off. I know it's got. And then just press it. Press it while it's still pliable. Do it with your fingers, you're not so 
but mind, this is the mistake I made with that finger. I push him harder one side than the other. That's it. Now, you can see these now. And if I put them that way up, okay, so that it just holds that shape for me. There we go. Make sure that's straight as well. So some of these don't sit straight, so make sure they're straight as well. See, put it together while it's still warm. Okay. And then pop it in your lamp for 30 seconds or so, however you feel. And then it warms up and then you can leave that on. Fit the next form while it's cooling down to set your shape. In fact, that's only been about 15 seconds because obviously I've been on my hand, I can feel it. So that's a, the shape you want, that really deep. It's like a U curve rather than a C curve, but it'll be like that by the time I've straightened the sides and everything. But while it's cooling down, we'll keep it in the clip just so that it can't bounce back because gel likes to do that and it's warming back up cooling back down it's not quite right that. just manipulate it just a little bit that's it because while it's pliable then you're not going to pull it off here because it's look it's it's all attached it's not going anywhere not until I say so. Right. It's a bit wonky, but then that's not the curve under there. That's the top. So, so what we'll do now, take that sticky off properly. Put you in there so you can cool down in that shape. The way I do find with this one, it does um, stay pliable until you put a gel or base coat gel, gel base coat or something on the top, and then it sets properly because it can't push its way out. So I have to find out how your gel behaves. And the only way to do that is to use it. Let's get rid of that. So, while that's doing that, put the lid back on this before I stick my elbow in it. Oh, I'll just turn the light down. Get back on. You've made your nails so long. Right. Now, this one is going to be for this finger because I need this finger and the thumb to put it on. That makes sense. So where have I put my scissors? The little scissor goblins pinch me scissors. Oh dear. Right. Squeeze just a little bit so that you're not sticking. Bend it in the middle. Roll it in the middle however you to do it okay and I like to do these on as I'm going along because I can never remember which one I've done for what some people make them all to fit before they do anything which I do admire them <laughs> right so this time that cut off there is this side so that's the side we've got to make shorter this time so we want to go I'll go from there that might do two jobs at once and take the, the side away and about halfway thin it out and do that oh, I suppose we're doing that one aren't I oh well I'll just carry on doing this one now shall I Diane carry on I was working on my own. 
Yeah, I'm working on the end. But you know what I mean. See, and then that's come right up to there. Okay. So, same again. I think I'll just cut straight down there on that one and that one. Swings and roundabouts, I know. Swings and roundabouts. Say one thing, do something completely different. Never mind. Never mind. As long as we get to the end bit, end bit in the end. Right, same again. It's going to go upwards, which it will now because I've fitted that so that it goes down under the free edge a bit more so then I can get closer to that broken off bit. Uh, it's not quite upward enough. So bend it in. Okay, no, still not got it right. What it is, that bit of skin is stopping it. So if I just on the diagonal there, take that bit out so you can see where I cut. Okay. Then you, you've got to make your form fit. There's no amount of filing at the end. Well, file a gap away. Right, now, up a bit. Squeeze your bit because I've been playing with it. I've lost that curve across the top. That's it. And under you go. Right. There is a tiny gap there, but with the acrid gel, it'll just sit on top. Right. Will you let go so I can do this properly? Thank you. That's it. Up and under. It does. I don't want to push it too much else it will sink there and I want that bit to be recreated. Let's go up a bit more. That's it. Are we going up now? Not quite. See little movements make big movements is end. So bring that back has just brought it down a bit but there we go. I think That'll do, it only needs to be. And now I think that's set enough not to spring back, so that can come out of the way. Okay, so there's my straight line. So I'm still following that nail, that finger, that, but it only looks like it does that because of that bit's missing. So you have to be careful with what your eye sees. So if you take that line and go down the middle of the finger, it straightens it up for you. Okay. Let's get rid of that gap there. There's a bit of a crease, that's it, it's gone. Okay, all right, happy with that. I want to spend three more hours fitting it, which make a very boring video, I think. Get you over there out of the way. It's a bigger nail bed, so slightly bigger. Get the string backwards and forwards. You don't want to wind it all the way around the spatula, so you'll never get it off. Well, you will, but it makes the right mess. Right. You don't need to rub it off on there. Okay, do a swap. Let me brush up again. Make it up. That's that. Right the side. Do a quick dry out. Because I want those bristles now. Just push it up the finger again. And then thin out. To the cuticle down the side wall because it's a bigger finger i'm going to leave just a little bit of a gap then it can have a move around by the time i've got to the 
end of here. Right, to number four. Okay, very good. Gone dry. Swipe, swipe both sides. Need another big bulge of alcohol coming through. Pat, pat. Bring it down. But we don't need a straight line, we want a diagonal line there again. That's it. Okay, now bring this down. Oh, need a bit more alcohol. That's it, but not a lot. See, that's all disappeared now, that big dollop. But just bring down what we've got. And then we'll get the spatula again. And just take a little bit if you can catch the pot. And just run the string where you want it to go. That's it. And you don't disturb what you've done, theoretically. Okay. Swap them over. It wasn't going to dry much, but you know what alcohol is like. It evaporates when you want it, don't want it to, and doesn't when you want it to. Right, because that's all that's in me pot. 70% alcohol. Hasten to add not the drinkable type. It's the word I can't say, but it's isoprol, la, 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 whatever. Okay. And on to the three. On the diagonal. Up to the four. As I squish my brush, it's gone out of pattern. There we go, the bristles. Now that one seems to want to run down there a bit, so let's push him back because we don't want that gap becoming a gap again. That's it. Right out, we'll leave it at that and counteract with the next layer. So, do it again with that just to go all the way round, which it does. All the way round. And this little hand held thing, basically, the best. Best little six quid I bought because it's made doing these more complicated shapes, I would say. See, it's just just done the top, so that in there is all going to be sticky off the last one and not stick to the sticky on this one. That's better. Uh, to tend to line the the elbows of the pinching tool because this is a gel one not an acrylic one the acrylic one is fierce and you can s pop the gel off your natural nail because they are very strong so just gently touch touch all the way down this has worked a lot better than the first finger okay Put them in there so that it runs straight. It does pinch my finger a bit, but if I keep moving it to find the place that I want, so I don't really want it where I built the. So it looks as though actually it's going to behave itself. So, in fact, that looks quite good. So I'll just won't go very far and I'll just use this I think okay and I'll pause it and then come back when it's done right the lamp's just gone off so while it's still warm let's just remind it where we want it to go that's it because it's dry now the, the sticky layer won't pull what's underneath away anymore that's it that's 
really okay, I should do. So, let's do this second layer. Get rid of the strings. Oh, well done. Right to it blobs a bit. That's that. It's, it's a good test, actually. Oh, look at that, nearly perfect. Um, of how you gel in the pot's behaving. I, to be honest, I can't get on with the ones in the tube because I either take too much and I like to put it back. Because you can in the pot. Put on your good dust or something over it. That's it, bristles, wake up. Okay, so pat. Get me a bit of apex. Pat it across. Use the bristles. If it really warmed itself up, this will be going all over the place. So these bristles would be stuck and pulling up the thing. That's why I have the other types of brushes so that they're ready, whatever mood the acro gel's in. This one is quite happy with the acrylic, it doesn't need anything else. Just to make it do what you want it to do. Right, see, we keep that side wall a bit flatter. Oh, sticky. See, that's the, the line there that I want coming across. So it's a very thin line there that you decide whether you want it on top and below it or wherever your eye can remember. Okay, right. Sort of an almond shape there, and me diagonal. So this is the awkward bit, isn't it? I'm trying to do this. No. So no, not wet enough. You don't want it too wet, else you'll just dilute your your gel, and then it won't cure. Okay, looking for me, me line. I'm using the numbers on this side. Okay, and then using the side of my brush, pulling that down. Check down the barrel. Make sure it looks like the almond it's supposed to be. Right, it's a bit of a a bump there, I don't know whether you can see it, look, it was like a horse's face, look, bump. That's the bit you, where the nose band would be on the horse's bridle. Let's get rid of that. Pattern, gently tease it back up. That's it, that's better. All right, brush has dried out again. All right, there's a bit of a jump up there. Dot, dot. check you know this I think is the easiest finger to do but it's a shame it's got such a, a rude connotation I think is the word and you can't use it because people think you're being rude but it's a very nice finger really right pat the side walls as straight as you can get it get the nice rounded over the top at the side walls, Just take that there, see, it's sort of floating over me bit of skin there, so it's created a, a new bit, check that it's not flooding, just remove it, like that bit on the tissue, there's a bit there actually that one's coming out, oh, oh. get the 
the orange stick for that, I think. Keep your finger down. Get out of the way. Oh, move. All right, then go there, then I'll take you off on you. That's it. I don't want you in there. Get out. That's it. It won't stick now. Um, I've gone over a bit too far there, but I'll get that when I do the filing. Okay, that looks all right. Now the underside's cooked. I can do that in the big lamp for 60 seconds in an LED. Okay. Right, let's just remind it. Put me elbows with me pinching tool. Just at the side where me free edge starts. Just to remind that bit. A bit further down. Remind it. Remind it. Okay. So, while it's still thinking about cooling, I'm just going to get the orange wood stick in there. And in there just to pop it off. There we go. Take them off. Oh, we don't want to go. And come on, let go. Let go. go. And push it down. Finger up. Boiled it and formed down. Okay. Uh, I use the other one because it's probably not not got any sticky on it. And just remind the shape that we want. Sticking it all the way down. Right now, get a tissue. Sorry, camera. Just wipe a bit the sticky layer off. And put the pincher on the clamp on. Check that you is straight with you. That's it. Right. Same again. I'll form up those two and then we'll come back for the filing. Just before I do disappear, I'll come back. I was just this finger is my doddle. It doesn't matter whether I've got a side mould missing or not. It just accepts these forms. This like they're made for it. Okay, just like that. And the little finger is basically the same. It just sits there. So, see you at the filing. The emery file is brilliant for getting rid of bits in your skin like that. And just sort of gently yeah, push them out of the way, which is why brilliant. I got rid of you getting rid of scratchy bits off the sides in your skin, like oh, that. Or you can just wipe them down, gently push them out of the way. The way I do it, then I don't which create. Right. I got rid of you. A little bit nick in the side, side there. Right. Or you can just okay. wipe them down, right. slide it down, which hold your skin I back. Do it, then I don't create. Slide it down. A little nick in the so side you there. Get where you okay. want to be. So slide it down. Which Hold your skin back there so you can go. Slide it down until you get like that to where you want and then to come. Which is all there. If you go away go. from there, you won't be soaring into that bit. And, like that. and then come. And if divot. And if you go away, you come from there, you won't be soaring weak spot. into that bit. You know. And just take that off away from there. Pull me sideways back. Give it. And this is come. A weak spot. Yeah. I find these ones, although they're brilliant, they're a bit wide for my side walls anyway. I've got a lot of skin around them. I find these okay. ones, pull it away. They're brilliant. They're pull a bit it wide for my side walls anyway. And then, I've got a lot of skin around them. That bit. Okay, you can store away. And you don't take the top of the other one off. Okay. But then save you're going like that and sawing and perhaps knocking that, that bit away. Away. And you away. don't take the top of the other one off. Okay. 
And then say we're going and like that and sawing and perhaps knocking that bit. So then you don't away. catch yourself away. because you're pulling away. it away. Okay, hide it underneath and down there. So then you don't get your straight catch line yourself. because you're pulling it away. Okay, hide okay. and the other underneath. side. Oh my goodness, I'm covered in. So you can get your straight line. Stickers. Lovely. And the other side. Oh my goodness. I'm okay, so that's in. the same. So I'll have to turn it because this is a 180, 100. Stickers. So this is 180. That's stiffer. Okay, lovely. So, okay, so that's the same. Away. So I'll have to turn it because this is a 180, 100. Gently. So 180. That's stiffer. Okay. I mean, on yourself, you are going to get away. away. Unless you're really, really clever. Gently. Which I'm not. I can't see clear on right. forms. On yourself, you are going to get all different colours and I still can't see them. Unless you're really, really clever. Right. Put that away. I can't see clear. On, on a client, forms. obviously, you will have all these Inside dribbles all because you're looking at it like that. It. And you can move it right. around and, and then away. get it cured. But it's on this, you're looking that side. On a client, obviously, you will have so all these dribbles because you're looking at it like that. And you can move it around and then get it cured. But it's on this, you're looking that Hopefully side. Hopefully it won't be excessive filing. Which is what down to do. there. So when you go on that side, it goes down there. But so Hopefully it won't be excessive filing you've got to do. Like acrylic, gel has a, gel has a mind of its own. Right, pushing it away. So I can't get my skin, I can't. Like acrylic, gel has, what I've gel done. has a mind of its own. Right, now that's... Pushing it away, that bit there. Go mm -hmm. straight with the other one. Okay. Mm -hmm. what I've done. Right. So, on your own, that bit there. You can go straight mm -hmm. out with the other one. And that will get it straight. So you can look down there. And you so can see it's going on straight. Your own. But you still haven't got rid of it. You can do that. That bit there yet. And that will get it straight. So, so you can look down there. Push it away, see. it's going straight, but we still haven't got rid of that bit there yet. So, push it away. Don't use this round my cuticles, just round my side walls, okay? Because it's slightly thinner. I don't use this round my cuticles, you can just pile away bits of it and then come to the edge. Okay. So you can, because it's slightly thinner. So that's clear, and you can just have side wall now. By the way, bits of it, I let them to the edge. Okay, so you can straight, see? Straight. So that's clear. That side wall now. Straight, straight. I let right, come down this side. Oh. Straight, okay. Straight, and go straight. But I can't do it like that. Straight, so straight. You go like that. Come down this side. Oh. Okay. Pull your, and your finger up. I can't do it like that. And then so just come. Go like that. On the edge. Straight. Okay. Straight. Pull your, check. Your finger up. And then just come. Straight. Along the edge. Straight. Check. So that's not far straight. off now. Check. So you can just do a bit more. Straight. Just a little bit straight. more, I think, there. Check. That's it. See, that's not far off now, so you can just do a bit right more. So that's just a little bit okay. more, I think, there. This bit that's it. still so it's coming down. This right. one's a little bit more, so I'll just that's push away. Okay, this you bit can do it with that one as well. If you want. So it's coming down, just push it away. Don't saw with the memory board. A little board. bit more, so just push away. Just push it away. Okay. Don't saw with right. the memory board. No. I've lost my brush. It's more like this a one. Okay. It's good for right. putting on there and as you're going along, especially if you've got your e-file, do that. So you've got the e-file there and you do that and then you carry on this and one. do that. So it doesn't go anywhere. It's good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. On there, and as you're going along, especially yeah, if you've got your e-file, do that. So one of those little brushes here, you do that. one of these little and brushes, and you do that. Just do it on the side, oh, and yeah. underneath. Yeah, okay, so we're not finished yet on that. One of those little brushes here, one but of these little brushes. 
I shall just show you one. This one again, oh, it's all the way down here. Okay, okay. so we're not finished yet on that. Side but wall is there. I shall just show you one. Jelly is there. This so one again, see it's all the way down here. Pull the skin back, okay. see where it divots in there. Side that wall you don't want to make any there. bigger. But that, jelly you see, there, so focus it in. That the skin back, there, see where it divots I need in to there. get rid of. That you don't that want to bit. make any bigger. There, that. I don't. See so I'll put my file in there and just pull it there. away. I need to get rid of. Pull it away. That bit. Pull there. it away. I don't. So like that. I'll put my file tool. in there and just pull it away. It lines up. Pull it away. With that one. Pull it away. Right. That's just gone underneath. Like so I'll just push it that all away and then come back. It lines up. Okay. So it's just a bit there. That one. Right. But I'll be able to get that in a bit. I'll just push it that bit that okay, way. Okay, I'll get that with the bigger file. And okay. this one again, look. Just a bit there. There's the side wall. But I'll be able to get that there. in a bit. Too much. So, okay, I'll get that with the bigger file. Now. And I'll push it away. Again, look. There's the side wall. Push it away. Push it away there. It's too much. So, just take mm. that. Everywhere else, push it away. You can sort for. Of, Away. This so uh, it's because it's a bit stiffer. Mm. Everywhere else, right. a bendy. It's, it's got like a spongy bit in the middle. But it's a bit bendy. But this is just on wood. So because it's, uh, it's a bit, you can get your bits like that. And this is quite bendy. Match it's got like a spongy bit in the middle. But it's a bit bendy. Okay. This is just on wood. So like that. You can get your bits like that. So that one's ready to start. Okay, okay, like that. There's still just a tiny bit so there. That one's ready. And I don't want to start. So I'll do it with that one now. Okay. okay. There's still just a tiny bit there. Clean underneath as well, then you can see where you go in. Do it with that one now. Okay. Okay. So, now if I put that there and that there. Clean underneath as well, then you can Almost see where right. you go in. Almost right, so if I hold my finger. Okay. My thumb and my so, ring finger. If I put that there and that, that there, way, then push, push. Sorry, yeah, pull, right. push. So hold my pull, finger, push, pull, and push. Thumb and pull. So if you come all the way right. along the end, that way, okay, push, push. Then you get to the end. So it's pull, push. And now, pull, because I don't want to take a lot pull, off, push, pull. Right, so you come so all the way along the end. Okay. So now, that to, get to the end on the clock. So now, because I don't want to take a lot off, nine. Three. Right, so I've done okay. that one and that one. So that's so now it's that twelve and six on the clock. So you want ten is nine and six. six. Okay. Six. So that's ten and four. It's twelve and okay, six. Okay, on your clock. So you want so that will give you your right angle. And keeping at that angle. Your right angle. You'll get your 45 okay. degrees. Okay. Sorry. On your clock. Never good at school. I'll give you your right angle. Okay. And There's your 45 degrees. Keeping at that there angle. There is your right angle. And your right angle. You'll get your 45 angle degrees. Sorry. Yeah. You're straight. Never good at school. Nine to okay. three on the clock. There's your 45 degrees. That if it went degrees. straight up. There is your right angle. doing a square. It would be 12 to six. Your angle and there. that. So you've got the ten. straight, the nine to and four. three on the clock. Okay. That if it went straight so up, do it again. If he's doing a square. That be twelve to six is nine and three. And that is ten. That is twelve and, and six. Four. Okay. okay. Twelve and so six. Do it again. So you want ten. That and four and three. That is twelve okay. and six. And then that okay. will give you twelve and six. The curve up. So you want ten. Right. Now we've got four. to get a side wall okay. as square as we can. I'll give you, you on that one. You curve off. Okay. Right. And that now one. We've got square as we can to get a side so wall. As I square as we can. Twelve and six. On that one. Okay. Put them down. And that Keep your one. finger straight. Hold straight it with another one. Can. So what your client's yeah. finger, hold it straight and just go up and down. Up and down. Get a right angle wall. Finger straight. Hold okay. it with I'm using one. on the 100 on this side. Hold your client's finger, hold it straight and just go up and down. Just to get it good and then just right come down wall. to make sure I'm not okay. going using underneath. On the 100 on this come side. down just to make sure. And on the same side, hold just to get your other finger out of the way. And just come down. Okay. 
12 make inches. Make sure you're not going underneath. Not down. Coming down just to make sure. And on the same side, see. hold. 12 and 6. Your other finger out the way. Okay. okay. 12 and 6. Check. Up and down. Done that one more than that side now. And 12 and 6. 12 and 6. Okay. Pull that way. Check. Up to you. As long and as you more than that imagine side. two points to keep and 6. It straight. Okay, it's coming. Pull that way. And there's a bit of a bulge there. Up to you. As long as you. It's Imagine gently because it's by your skin to keep it just gently straight. Okay, it's coming. And there's a bit of a bulge Stretch there. Stretch away with a bit of pressure. Just gently That's because it. it's and by your skin. A, a curve just like that. You can go up because it, the curve will take you away. Stretch away with a bit of pressure. Your finger. That's it. And if you've got okay. a, a curve like that, you can go up because it, the curve will take you away from your finger. And Right. Making sure you check, make sure your sides and this very very similar. Right. Can't see. Making sure you yeah. check, make sure your sides that you're not upsetting your your angle there because very, you're supposed to look similar. at that one can't and not see. see that one until you do that. Okay, you yeah. can't see. Check that you're not it's upsetting gone. your and then you can't your see them at all there. you're supposed to look at that and one. That's got a bit of that one there. And just that straight. Okay. So, so with see. the angle bit, it's gone. I just and then go you can't see them at all there. And then it's got a bit of bulge there. Where is that? Bit straight? of time because you can so with the away. angle bit. So put some underneath up. it if you can't see. And then yeah. another bit of time because you can see it's not far off away. now. So. Put some underneath me wonky finger, see. remember? Yeah. So the finger's off over there somewhere. See, it's okay. not far off now. So make me finger. Because you that's me wonky finger, remember? That one's that side. So the finger's off over there somewhere. That one's that side. Okay. So the, the actual thing stays. Straight. Okay. That's Same with this side. one then. Side. That one's that side. There you go. So that. Yeah, keep it see. straight on your imaginary straight yeah. line so you get a straight okay. wall Same with this one then yeah. up and down Side. or across yeah. the top whichever makes you keep it straight around. you can use your both fingers straight line so you get a straight keep it wall. there and do that yeah. up and down check it or sure not across the top thin. whichever makes you the other way and you're ready to move it up and down fingers. yourself keep it there and do that oh you can check it do it quick on the smoother side do it the other way just you keep checking up and down yourself. Okay, down your barrel. Oh, you can and also that quick way. on the smoother side. That's what I didn't do. Just on that keep one. checking. Which is why it seems to be okay, down your barrel. wandering off because I filed that and side that way. more than that side. What I didn't do. But on that one. if I went in there, which is why it seems a bit to be more, which is what I'll do. Wandering off. I can take I that bit of file that off side and straighten it up again. Than that so, side. Okay, I went in there. So we're nice more, and straight. That I'll one's do. just a little bit more. And take that bit of bulge off and straighten it up again. So in there. This is just for the. Okay. Well, I suppose you could do it for the nice stiletto. And straight. That one's just a little bit more. Okay, because it's an almond shape, so you're sort of on a diagonal a bit. On there. But this is you just need for these the, walls straight for the. Well, I suppose you should do it for the stiletto. Um, almond. Okay, because it's an okay. almond shape, so you sort of want to die out a little bit. Nice. Can't play with that one. But you need these walls so straight. Just check. Russian. Your 10 and, and your 4. Almond. Get your okay. 45 oh, sharp nice. degree nice. angle. Can't play with that one. And that one. So just okay. check. Your 10 and nice. your 4. And then get your just a gentle sharp degree angle. Round. And that one. So you start there. Okay. Go across the top and go over it. Okay. So it rounds. And then. That bit just because a gentle you made a ridge there, round ridge there. So you start there, so you just go across gently and go over it. So it rounds that out because so you, you get that nice there. round curve and a ridge there on that one. So you so just see gently and look, buffering that out. And so that, you get that nice I am left handed, curve. so that it's this hand one. was done with my non dominant okay. hand. Look. Okay. So and now that I am left handed. So that this hand is done. Still rounding. Keep hand. checking. 
So that's a bit wonky okay. under there. But so now we can just pull that out. It's all rounding. But keep checking. Do it with the softer one, not the. That's a bit wonky under there. But the emery board because just it's taking from underneath, out. which is taking some of your strength. Do it with but the softer one, not of the. Tidying it up when you offer somebody the emery board because you're taking from underneath you're underneath your fingers to show how well you've done, you see. Tidying it up when you offer somebody. Not really. Holding your money out. Give me some money. I want to go shopping. It's underneath your fingers to show how well you've done, you see. You can't do that now though, can you? Because you're all on your phone shopping. Out. Give me some money. I on want to go shopping. shopping. Right. Can't there do that now, though, can you? Because you're Just all on your phone shopping. Off. See, that's gone round on now. That shopping. one needs to round off. Okay. Right. So, there gently. Go. Just one side. There gently See, roll over it now. to the other. That one needs that's to done. round off. Okay. So, gently. One side. Gently roll it's over it. No pressure. It's just other. letting the file that's just all. gently smooth. The rounding. If you imagine it, there's no pressure. It's just letting the file you. just in your mind gently smooth. You just go in. rounding. One. If you imagine it, over it. slowly to the other. And let us see in your hand back. Your mind. Okay. So you can just see how it's just scratching it. One. Over and. slowly to the other. So hand back. Okay. Do it again. So you can just see how it's just scratching it. This is better look because I've got it right. So, so skin back. Do it again and away, away. This is better look because I've away. got it right. See, because if I go too there. far, skin back. There. See that and there. Away. I can make that bigger, away. and then that would cause a crack. Away. Going over there. So, so if I go too far. Turn my file ever so slightly upwards. That there. I can make just that bigger, away. and then that would cause that crack. A bit of a run into my side wall there. Just turn that away ever so slightly upwards. That's it. We'll just slowly, that slowly, because that and come out. Bit of a run into my side wall there. Right. So just take that away. This side now. That's it. Slowly, Same again. slowly, and come out. Okay. So push it away. Right. Push it away. This side now. That's it. That'll do. Right. Same again. So now check the two. There. Okay. Look. Push it away. Nearly. Push that one's slightly longer. That's it. That'll do. Because it's got dribbles right. on it by the looks of it. So now check no, the just two. gently because you don't want to take too much off. There, look. Nearly. That one's slightly longer. You just need just to sharpen it up a bit. By the looks of it. Okay. No, just gently it because you don't want to take too much Bring off. It out. That's it. Right, just then. need just to sharpen so that a bit. That the, okay. the softer file. It's not softer in grit, it's softer in that's it. Bending us. Right, okay. Then. That's pretty so good. That's, just that's need to do the side walls. The softer Same again, it. little finger. It's not softer in grit, it's softer. It's a bit harder because bendiness. you've got to hold it up okay. without that's pretty me. good. You finally need to do the side walls. Your thumb or whatever finger. finger. It's a so bit harder because gently. You've got to hold it, it up away without me. Hold it away. Give okay. thumb or whatever finger. That's gone a bit in the side wall, so, so just gently knock it away. Hold it away. That's why I like these. Okay. Just sort of that's gone a bit in the side wall, so just okay. So away. you see, that's, it. that's why Not I like Not quite these. right. We're on a rock. So you sort of. So this side is the longest side. Okay. So, so draw it that see. way. Start off with. Not quite right, we're on a okay. rock. Okay, it's coming. So this side is the longest side. So draw it that way. Start off with. Okay, so now you can okay. rub, but it's you're coming. not rubbing there. You're there. So you can see there. Look. And there. Okay, so now you can rub, but you're not rubbing no. here. There. Side walls is there. Make that dent. Okay. There. okay. I'm happy with that. So the same thing again. No one near. Right, there you. That way. Your imaginary straight line. Turn it over. Your imaginary straight line because these are.
pretty much right. And your little finger wobbles all over the place. You've got to not really rack it because <laughs> it probably wouldn't do all the good work of getting that on there. So, 12 and 6, 10 and 4. That's a bit too of a cute angle then. That's it. 10 and 4. And get that. I didn't have that flat then. So I've done the same as I've done that one. So there you go. Matches. Check your length. It's a little bit longer than that one. So go more of a 90. And then come back into your, your 45. Okay, we're nearly there. So we can take a bit more off. So 90 degrees. Just take that off. Round it slightly. Check. Not far off. So your 10 and your 4 again. Gentle this time. Now my sidewalls. See on there, that's a bit longer than that. So what I've done is I've probably gone about that, like that on one side because I haven't had that straight and flat. So I've had it wonky like that. Just caused the extra. But it's my little finger and it's individual. Right, so check them. Right, you can see, I put it over the top of me, there you go, you can see, line up your fingers, and that, oh, oh, cut the mill out of the way, but it's also got a bump on it there, so, go upright, just take off a bit at the end, check the length a bit more. Also, when you're checking it like that, make sure that bit there isn't going off on a slight angle which it isn't so just straighten it off a bit that's it so that it's that's it horizontal okay happy with that yep so 10 to 4 gentle rub 10 to 4 gentle rub perfect Okay, now that one up, and that one's pretty much good. Oh, can't see it. I'm trying to get over there so you can see it. That's it. And then two over me. That's it. Same length. The thumbs I can do them that way. Oh, yeah, go like that, but it's too, too painful for me anyway. underneath so you can see where your edges are right that don't put your side up and down turn it round up and down that one's okay isn't it bit more on the little finger side on that one right I don't really want to bounce my finger. That's better. So I've caused a little bit of roughness there. There we go. That's better. Okay. Pretty much okay. That's slightly bulbous there, look. I don't know whether you can see it. That's come straight. And that comes out ever so slightly just here. So probably because it's bounced so I'll try and hold it between those two fingers up and down vertical now you can always go up and down with your hand okay right that's the edge done now 
go round the cuticle on an angle. I don't know whether you can see that. Okay, so what are you doing? You're just touching. I mean, it's a lot easier on somebody else's hand because you, you're looking at there and you're also noticing what's happening there but you're going on feel more than anything on your own so you just slight angle come round just to put a bit of thinness there so when it grows out you won't have a ridge you can't cut it you can't you can't pick at it you can't catch it in your hair in your clothes in your lovely woolly jumpers because it's cold in the UK anyway Okay, right, so we've just done that, just tested, but because we used the brush, I think that one there, just, they have flooded. That one, just push the that back a bit. That's not skin, that's uncured underneath the, the nail fold. Right, so now I want to pull that back and just gently, because I don't want to rub it because I don't want to rub my skin, and just move it over that's it look you see it coming off now okay like that just roll it and i get my brush and it's still a bit there that will probably have a ridge so and then if i get the edge now okay Bring it round. Just push the cuticle back. That's it. Just push it back ever so slightly and as gently as you can. Okay, and then the cuticle will then nail fold. See, that will cause lifting there. So I'm going to use that there. But I've already took the rough off it when I seasoned it. Now if I can get that finger in there, that nail. Okay, push it back slightly. And pull it down. And yeah, you can get your knee file in and you can have your, your proximal fold bits or your the ball. I've got to be a bit gentle on mine because they do flare up. I'm going to leave that like that. When it starts growing out, I'll buff it off. That one looks pretty okay. Just a bit there, look. Okay. Right, not too bad. Oh, not too good now they're there. Hang on. Let's just see if it's where's my little pusher? Let's have a look. Push it. 
that's better. Just bring it round. Last thing I want is uncured gel going under my nail fold. Yes, I like wearing false, not false nails, are they? They're enhanced nails. So I don't want to. See, that one's all right. Can't have been concentrating properly. That one's okay. Right, so brush them all off. Now, give it a buff. Following the line straight along there because that's what you want. Straight, straight, nice round at the top. Straight, straight, okay, nice round at the top. So straight, round, straight, straight, round, straight. Straight and straight. Okay, is there anything like a little bit that I've missed there? That's it. Do the ends just to make sure. Slight tip away from the apex because I don't want to reduce that. I just want to. Take a bit off the end there, so by the time I've got my paints and my gels and everything on it, it won't be a massive lip. Well, a massive lip, you know what I mean. Okay, so I want that just a little bit thinner. So whatever I do, eventually try to do. Okay, there we go, you see, that's nice. Okay, let's take that pointy edge off because that's the one I uh, shortened a lot, wasn't it? That one. Okay, just flick across it because you don't want to change the length, you just want to take the sharpness off. Right, let's do that one as well just to make sure it's not too thick and there's not any big divots in it. Because you can guarantee your top coat will show it, yeah. By which I mean your colour and your your artwork. Right. Now, do they look roughly the same? Not that you would go that, but if you do that, you say you want them all to look roughly the same. Okay, not quite the same shape there though. Let's just take that bit of lump off there. That's better. That's because it's got, um, I put base coat on that. So I could go and have my dinner before I did this hand, basically. Alright, bit of gel in there. But, now, I shall put that over my bin for now and I'll clean it off later. They could do with a good brush out, so I'll put them over there out the way. Let me brush. This one's nicer because it's really soft and it can get around your, your skin. Flick underneath, make sure there's nothing under there. And this is washable. And it's so soft. It's also very good for combing out your brush's hair as well. Now, don't need you. I've got my little pumpy beaker with that. I've also got a spray with alcohol in it. So, there we go. And underneath. Okay, that's that bit done. Round and underneath, round and underneath. 
Chuck that away. Not on top of my filter, but never mind. Okay. So, round. Try not to get it on this part of your skin because it dry it out. Unless, of course, you've got oily skin. And then it won't be so bad, but it's still a drying agent. And there's le least chemicals you can put on your skin, the better, eh? Right. I'm pretty happy with them, seeing how I've done it with only one hand to help. That's going to annoy me. Where's my watch set? As close as I can. That's it, I think I've got it there anyway. Do that. That's it, just rubbing it away. Because this metal's so f polished, it's not actually. I mean, I'm not putting much in there really, so I'm not making it any bigger. I think there's a bit. Oh no, it's not. That was me. <laughs> was a bit stuck there, wasn't there? That's it. Okay, so happy, all nice and clean. Right. Just in case you don't. Uh, Right, where's my little things? Candle holder. Pot of paint, pot of gel. Just in case there's little tiny rough pieces. I'll stick a bit of base, gel base coat on. Just to fill them in. Like that, because it's only, it's not, not a lot. Better, thank you. And you can do the bottom. Right, first, on a longer nail, and then bring the, you've gone up to your cuticle, pushed a bit there, pushed. And then bring it down. That's it. Okay, leaving it a bit deliberately so that it can settle itself. Turn it sideways. And join them together. That's it, let it rest a little bit. And it becomes shiny then because it's gone into your little filing ridges basically to the bottom. I mean, you don't have to do this, it's just I find it makes it easier to paint if. You've got a perfect surface that you can just do a little rough up on. So you put in a slight rough surface rather than having one that you've just spent time smoothing off what you'd created. So that's already had some on, so that's okay. All right. 30 seconds thank you for sticking with me and watching and when i've decided what i'm going to do with them i'll film that as well thank you very much for watching and i'll see you soon